we're adding and subtracting polynomials here and it's asking us to subtract this two-term polynomial this binomial from the sum of these two four-term polynomials. Now it's very important to remember that the thing that you subtract goes to the right of the minus sign. So we are going to subtract this two-term polynomial from the sum of these two four-term polynomials. Okay, so we have to set it up correctly in order to get the question right. All right, and here we go. So the first two polynomials, all of the terms inside can really just come out. There's nothing outside here being multiplied in, nothing to distribute, uh, other than the number 1. And so it's not going to change anything. And let's go ahead and write these down. I have 3y to the third plus 7y minus 4y squared minus 5. And now I'm going to add. And all of these are going to come out also because I have nothing multiplying out here. So these are just going to be individual terms. 2y to the third minus 2y minus 7y squared minus 8. And now this is important over here. I need to subtract both of these terms. So think of this as a negative 1 getting distributed into both terms. And that's going to give us minus 2y, and very important, minus 1. And now we just have to put together all of our like terms. Okay, So I'm going to color code these. If you have colors, it's great. If you don't, then maybe you want to use different numbers of underlining or circling or rectangles or something like that. So all of the y to the thirds, I'm going to put three green lines. Those are going to go together all of the y squares. I'm going to put two lines, two blue lines, and all of the y's. I'm going to put one pink line, and then all of the numbers. I'm going to put a red line. Okay, or maybe we'll do a squiggly line like this. Okay, so these are all the constant terms without a variable. And let's put them together. All of my y cubes, I have 3y cubed plus 2y cubed. That's going to give me 5y cubed. All of the squares in blue, I have minus 4y squared minus 7y squared. So that's going to give me negative 11 y squared. And then in the pink I have plus 7y minus 2y minus 2 more y's. So that is going to be 7 minus 4 is 3. So that will be a positive 3y. And then my constants with the red squiggly line, let's see, minus 5, minus 8, minus 1 and that is minus 14. Okay, and then we're done. All they want us to do was subtract a binomial from two four-term polynomials. They're not asking us to do anything else. They're not asking us to factor or anything like that. And so here's the answer.